What is going on everyone and welcome guys to a brand new Clash of Clans video on the channel. That's right guys, today we have some exciting stuff. I am so close to reaching level 150 in Clash of Clans. You guys can see right from up here at the top left, level 149. Guys, that is crazy. I'm a level 149. I'm so close to level 150. But I wanted to showcase a few new events that we do have going on over here. So let's hop right into the events tab really quick. I'll show you guys what we got. So of course we still have the one gem hero boost as I said in yesterday's video. Hog Heaven, we're working on that slowly but surely. Pocket Rocket using the rocket balloons. We can't even work on that because we don't have level 8 balloons. But guys, we have a all new bullseye event. This is going to be ending in two days. 18 hours all you need to do is you need to use one super archer with that guys if you're able to win 10 multiplayer battles you're going to collect a resource potion as well as 400 score points that'll help me level up especially so guys i did make a class setup i'll show you guys right here and this is what's going to help me to actually score at least one star in every single battle i'm going to be using two electro dragons seven party wizards one super archer seven pekkas six wall breakers two baby dragons and three archers so basically the method that i'm going to be going with is the pekkas are going to be my tanks they're going to come in sweeping up some of those outer defenses breaking through those walls the electro dragons are going to follow they're going to also be tanks doing a ton of damage now i'm going to follow that up with the party wizards follow it up by all the other troops as needed because they're going to then be the ones to actually take out any of those extra storages and anything left around the map. You guys can also see right here, I do have two builders ready. They're ready to go, guys, and I'm not too sure on what to actually work on upgrading. We do have another day and a half until the two gold mines are done. We also have eight days exactly until our town hall is level 12. Guys, what I might do is I might just start up here on the two gold mines because I have two builders. We'll work on that though after we finish our match. Let's go hop right into a game and I'll see you guys when I'm there. Wow, guys. Alrighty, I came across this base which has really, really low level defenses everywhere. I'm seeing really low level fireworks stashes. Really low level Inferno Towers. They look to be level 1. Guys, this is an awesome base right here. Because this should be pretty easy to actually break into. So my thing is I actually really, really want to go right into the center. Immediately popping down all my P.E.K.K.A.s. I know that kind of sounds risky, but I do have the Rage Spell, which I think I'm actually going to use. So you know what, guys? We're going to pop this Rage Spell right down there. Put down a couple of P.E.K.K.A.s. Use that up to our advantage. We're then going to freeze that Inferno Tower. Going to put down a few more P.E.K.K.A.s right there. Going to put down another Rage Spell. Follow it up by a Heal Spell. Put down a couple of Party Wizards along the outside. Guys, we're going to follow it up with a Grand Warden and the Electro Dragons. Going to then Freeze Spell the um, Eagle Artillery and that Multi... Alrighty. Let's put down all the rest of our troops here gonna pop down a couple of the super archers well I only have one super archer so we're just gonna pop down the one super archer here in a second right down there going to then use our three archers just along the outskirts kind of sweep up a couple more buildings going to use our grand warden ability actually we don't even need to right away I'm going to just raid this P.E.K.K.A for no reason just help him get that expo out a little quicker this is going to be a very very easy three star guys super easy actually I haven't even used my abilities for any of my king, queen. Um, this was a pretty poor attack though by me, just because I did go straight for the center of the map. Like I did say, I said I was going to go for the center of the base, and that's exactly what I did, guys. So we're waiting on the Grand Warden here. He just took that out. He's going to be targeted by that Archer Tower. We're going to give it just a second here, and we're going to then rage up our Barbarian King, rage up our Grand Warden, and we're going to use our Archer Queen's ability just to try and save that Grand Warden if we can. He's not going to be saved. That cannon's going to take him out. But guys, an easy 3-star nonetheless. Easy 3-star. Not a lot of loot. That wasn't why I went after this base. I went after this base just because it was an easy 3-star. So we did get it, guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Nice. Collect that. Straight to the Clan Castle Storage. We're going to check over here, see what we still need to do in the active challenges. 
We have 1250 score worth of active challenges right now. We're working on the Toxic Tussle right now. We're also, of course, working on the Lord of Destruction. We just got 100% destruction. Took out, I believe, one or two Expos. Took out one Eagle Artillery. Guys, we just have to do a few more, and we're practically already going to be fully done with this month's challenges. The season ends in 14 and a half days, but we're gonna finish it pretty early. So I'm going to train the exact same troop setup again, but I am of course going to keep attacking with this troop setup. They are very, very good. I just have to get better with them and actually figure out a strategic, well, strategy. So let's go see here what we have. So we have two builders, like I'd said, we need to choose what to upgrade. Guys, we can upgrade the cannon. Right, the cannon is currently a level 7. We can upgrade the archer tower, which is also a level 7. That's Senen. Uh, I'm not too sure. What should I upgrade, guys? I really, really want to work on these. So you know what? 10 hours. We're going to work on both of them. We're just going to pop, pop right there. Both of them are going to take a little under 12 hours now. And uh, hopefully we'll finish them by the end of the day. Maybe I'll get started on those gold mines. If not... Guys, I might just keep upgrading the Archer Tower and the Cannon, but that's going to do it for today's video. Like I said, definitely make sure to do your attacks, guys. These events are helping us out so much. You guys can get a Super Potion. You can get a Shovel of Obstacles with the Rockets, and you can also get a Resource Potion. If you guys haven't yet done your attacks, go ahead, do them, get them all done. You guys are going to thank me later. As always, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video, and if you did, please be sure to smash that like button down below. Guys, I love you all so much. Have a good one. Peace.